In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import Google Analytics data into URL Profiler. So we'll start by opening the tool. And as with any profile, we need to feed in a URL list and then select the metrics we're interested in from the options on the left. So if you right click in the white box, you'll see there's an option to import from XML sitemap. So that's what we'll do today. You don't have to use this option. You could import crawl data from Screaming Frog or from another uh, crawler you can import from CSV and merge data will do exactly the same thing as this version here. So I'm going to go and get the URL for our sitemap. Now if you notice we have a sitemap index that's fine. URL profiler will just split these sites apart, the index apart and import all the pages. So it will also in fact import uh, gzip sitemaps as well. So we've loaded in these URLs and they are of course all from the same domain. Now there's no value in extracting any domain level data when you're profiling URLs that are all in the same domain. So we're interested in the URL level data. And specifically for this example, we're going to look at integrating Google Analytics. So if you tick that box. So I'm already connected to Google Analytics. If you're not, you just click that box and then you'll just choose the account you're interested in, the property you need and which view you want to use. You can also, of course, select the time period and the segment you're interested in. So we'll just leave it all as the default uh, values for now. Once you apply that, so if you wanted to bring back any other uh, data points, for instance, Majestic or Moz link metrics, uh, you could tick them at this point. But we're just going to go ahead and run it as it is. So we'll set that going. The Google Analytics API is really quick, so this shouldn't take too long at all. And there you go. It's just taken five seconds. So we can open up the file straight into Excel. So you'll see we have our URL list on the left and as you scroll across you'll see here's all the GA data taken from the API so we could start to sort and filter through this data and figure out which pages are valuable or which pages aren't getting search traffic for instance if you uh, select the search uh, segment we've selected all visits so it's just showing us everything um, and you can start to see which are the most popular pages and I'm not going to go through every single uh, metric in here because you can kind of figure them all out for yourself but we've also got things like bounce rate in there and um, time on page and exit rate so you can start to get a good idea of the kind of engagement metrics from Google Analytics so which pages are engaging for your users and which pages aren't which can be very useful for instance in a content audit so that's how you get Google Analytics data into your URL profiler.